They are Weevil Boys 4x100 relay team joining us down here at the uh, district meet in Ottoman. We're going to talk right now with uh, Derek Shirky, who started things off today. Derek, uh, how did you feel at the beginning of the race today? Nervous, but it came around once I started to get, or once I got down in the stance and got out of things. Did you get your energy built back up after the 400 hurdles here not too long ago? Yeah, <laughs> did a couple of cool downs and stretched a little bit and got things got ready. How'd you feel like you ran? I didn't feel like I ran too bad. Our handoff with him was pretty good and it went pretty well, I thought. What was kind of the goal coming into tonight? I'm sure qualifying for state was probably the number one goal. Was there a yeah. time you were looking at? We just wanted to kind of stay with our best time, I would say. Try to beat Riverside of Oakland, but they ran pretty well tonight, and so did Audubon. Audubon mm -hmm. beat, their, beat Riverside, and they kind of surprised us a little bit. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about that uh, headband you got on right now. This is something relatively new for this group of guys, and uh, what got you guys started with the headbands? I don't really know. Talk to Austin about that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what's that, Alex? <laughs> Alex, the determination. Yeah. What is it with the determination, Alex Cook, that uh, made you guys go with headbands? Uh, well, we thought, you know, as a 4 by one team, we should all look alike. And in order to make us all run our best, we got headbands. Has it helped? Yeah, it actually, the first time we wear headbands, we got our best 4 by one time, which was last week. <laughs> we dropped quite a bit of time. Yeah, we, we shaved off almost a whole second. How'd you do comparable tonight? We almost ran our best time. We ran in a 46, I believe, which 46, is 46-7, 46, which is pretty good for us. And I was pretty satisfied, just third place. Let's talk about how you ran tonight. Did you feel like you ran pretty well? I felt like I ran well. My leg was really tight, and it was pretty painful. But I knew I just wanted to, I wanted to run my best because I knew I wanted to do it for Stoke, and I wanted to do it for, for State. I wanted to get him there. And do you think you guys got a shot with that time? Well, it was our best time, and I mean, I don't think we could have almost ran it any better. So, a best shot. we, we got to see what happens next. All right. Well, best of luck, Alex. Thanks for joining Thank us here. Let's move over here to Jake Dander. And, Jake, you ran the third leg of the uh, race tonight. Uh, how did your handoff with Alex go? Well, I think I could have got out, uh, like, a step earlier because of his leg. I wasn't really sure how fast to get out. And he actually ran it as he always does. Okay. Now, you guys had some handoff issues earlier tonight yeah. everything kind of get worked out between now and then i think so the first time in four by two i we changed up like i went from the olympic and i never done that so i didn't know how fast to get out and then four by one we went back to uh, it's normal do you feel like you ran pretty strong though during your part of the race i think so for the most part yeah where did you feel like you were at your best maybe well, i don't know back stretch i'd say on four by two okay uh, yeah. talk about the handoff did you get a good one with austin yeah, we haven't had really bad, any bad handles all year. I mean, tonight was just right on the top. It's good. Okay. Now, one of the reasons I was talking to you guys is you've not just the headband, but you've done some unique stuff. Uh, we're going to focus in on the shoelaces with you, and I'm going I'm right, to come down here. Oh, you don't have yours. We'll, oh. we'll come over here. Yeah. And, and, and there's, there is Derek Cherokee's. How did you guys come up with the idea for the different shoelaces? Well, we knew we had the headbands, and we had our socks and stuff. Well, then we thought hey, we need shoelaces to go with our shoes. So then Derek, he comes up, he's like, oh, let's try these on. He shows us them, and we see that it's the work boots and the freaking rainbow. So we were like, okay, why not? It'd be weird. <laughs> Is this something that, that you're going to continue a tradition now? Uh, probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what other sports do you think you can wear this stuff with? <laughs> I have no clue. I have no clue. Okay. All right. Well, Jake, appreciate you joining us here tonight. Let's over to, head over here to the final guy of this group tonight, Austin. And I know kind of a disappointing night overall for you, but how's it been running with this group of guys this season? I know it's been a lot of fun. Um, I didn't really know. Nobody really likes track. And <laughs> I didn't know that it could be so fun, really. We've made strides and, you know, just little things like good handoffs and improving your time. It's a hell of a bunch of guys second to run runner, with. And runner, I wouldn't run either way, man. It's It's tough. It's, I didn't think it was be as bad till now, and then I realized it's not it's not easy to leave these guys. I only got one sport with them left, so it's tough. So, how did you feel like you ran here tonight? Oh, I thought we ran pretty well. I couldn't I couldn't see their um, handoffs with the fog, um, but they said they had a good one, and then Jake and I had a good one, and then I felt like I ran pretty well personally. Um, but there's just a couple teams that are faster than us, so you still got a shot at getting down to state, maybe with that time. What would that mean for you as a senior to be able to get down there? Uh, it'd mean a lot because long jump, 
I mean, it's fun, but it's myself. And a relay, it's with three other guys, so that's what it's all about, getting these guys down there and see what the experience is. It'd be, it'd be awesome. Can you hint to us, if you qualify, what the next step for you guys might be as far as the outfit? Well, we're changing our socks. Uh, <laughs> shaving our head, changing our socks, possibly... Bunching up our shorts. No, we'll figure. These guys, <laughs> these guys are plenty different, so we'll figure something out. Okay, now I got to show the socks. Give, yeah. give me, give me one of the legs here. Okay, and we got flower here. Okay, and then we got uh, nice dots here from the um, girls' Walmart section. We spent about five bucks total. So that's right. just that's just how these guys are. I, they kind of got who me. Who came up so with the sock idea? idea. Uh, I don't know who. You came know. up with the sock okay, idea. Okay, I came up with the sock, and then and then they saw the headbands and the shoelaces, and I was like, oh, but we did it. So oh, I'll always remember it. That's for sure. Well, I don't know if I want to know what the bunt shorts or any of that yeah, stuff is going to be. I can get a little different. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> well, guys, I tell you what, it's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys joining me tonight, and hopefully we'll see you down at State. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.